Hi, Vicki Sokol Evans here, author of the 100 Tips Productivity Series for both PC and Mac. Today's time-saving tip is how to reduce time zone errors when setting up appointments across multiple time zones, such as air travel. I will obviously be using Outlook, but this applies to any calendar program with time zone fields for both the start and end times. This means you won't have to rely on your brain or any website or app, and it will be 100% accurate. So here we go. So on the screen, I have a confirmation for a flight. I'm leaving London and heading to San Francisco. I also have some flights from Austin to DC, DC to Geneva. So I need to get this on my calendar. Let's just focus on this particular leg of the flight. As I've shown before in previous tutorials, I'm gonna start with reply with meetings. So reply with meetings, another tip in my book. This is a button right here on the ribbon, it says reply with meeting. This is a flight itinerary specifically for my flight. What I'll go ahead and do and say reply with meeting, what that does is it converts it from an email or copies information from the email and places it into a meeting request. It's very important you know it's a meeting request. In fact, it's actually um, going to invite United Airlines to this meeting, so I want to make sure I don't do that. That, that poses a risk here. So I'm going to say cancel invitation. But I do want to point out that that email is still attached. United Airlines is still attached to this meeting. You can tell by if I click on invite attendees again, you'll notice that the emails are there. So I wish that the Outlook team would actually delete the emails here when you say cancel invitation, but that feature is not added to the the actual functionality yet. So we're going to have to delete the emails that are attached to this particular email confirmation. And then we'll say cancel invitation. I'll go ahead and say invite attendees so you can confirm that indeed that the emails are deleted so it doesn't pose a risk anymore and then say cancel invitation again. So I just wanted to show you that you don't have to do that all the time but my recommendation is to delete the emails first and then say cancel invitation. All right, I would change the subject here, change the location. I, I know that you know how to do that. So let me just focus now on this particular leg of the flight. So I'm currently in central times. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my time zone buttons here that I've shown you in a previous tutorial. And you'll notice it's central time zone, but I'm going from London to San Francisco. So London time zone to Pacific time zone. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to central time zone. And since I'm starting in London, I'm gonna switch this to London. And I'm gonna end in Pacific. So I will go ahead and set that to Pacific time zone. And I thought I just saw it, no I didn't, right here. So London, Pacific. So start in London. I would switch this to obviously 10.25, 25 a.m. See if that'll work, yep. And then I'm going to end 1.15 p.m., 1.15 p.m. And of course I would switch the particular date of the flight. So that would be June, this was last year, so that was a June flight. So that is how you reduce time zone errors when setting up appointments across multiple time zones, such as air travel. For the step-by-step -step instructions and more tips like this, be sure to get the book on Amazon and subscribe to this channel. This is Vicki Sokol Evans. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.